Hello friends, welcome to part 3 video. Till now in uh, real numbers, I uploaded two videos. This is a uh, revision videos. These two are first one revision of exercise 1.1 of real, uh, real numbers chapter. There we discussed how to find LCM and HCF of the two numbers or even three numbers uh, and also exercise 1.1 questions. In, ex in second video, exercise 1.2 how to prove given number is an irrational number. There we have only single irrational number that is root 2, root 3, root 5 and so on. Next combination of rational and irrational numbers and also combination of two irrational numbers. So these two uh, in, um, topics or concepts of real numbers we discussed in the previous two videos. In this video I am going to upload the important questions of real numbers which is uh, related to the textbook questions and also some additional questions I'll give you uh, in exam point of view which are um, important that I'm going to give now and also I will explain questions one by one and also uh, I'm including in this uh, 2024 board questions uh, which we uh, have in the board paper so all these questions I'm giving you now so once go through this complete video and try to understand how to prove given number is an irrational number and also how to find the LCM of 2 and 3 numbers and also applications of LCM and HCF. That means the word problems related to LCM and HCF. Still you have any doubt how to find LCM and HCF and also how to prove the given number is an irrational number once go through the previous video and here in this video, I will give you questions and also I will explain how to prove or how to find the solution for the given answer. Now continue watching this video. First four questions of this chapter. First one is proving that root 5 is an irrational number. I will explain you clearly how to prove root, two, root 5 is an irrational number. Next, uh, next question is 7 plus 5 root 2 is an irrational number. Once go through the complete video how to prove root 5 is an irrational number. After that I will give you explanation of 7 plus 5 root 2 is an irrational number. Here in this question uh, root 2 is given as irrational number. So if root 2 is an irrational number we need to prove that 7 plus 5 root 2 is an irrational number. Next question is 2 minus root 3 by 5. This is uh, last 2024 board question. So here we need to prove that 2 minus root 3 even by 5 is an irrational number. The next question is the fourth one root 3 plus 2 root 5 is an irrational number. Here we have combination of two irrational numbers. In uh, question number 2 and 3 we have only one irrational number. We need to transpose and should prove uh, given number is irrational number. But coming to the fourth question we have to prove that root, root 3 plus 2 root 5 that is sum of two irrational number is also an irrational number. Uh, the process for this is will be different. So I will explain you clearly how to prove this uh, root 3 plus 2 root 5 is an irrational number. Yeah, here I am explaining how root 5 is an irrational number. Uh, it is difficult to explain on board complete procedure. So first I am assuming that root 5 is an irrational number. Uh, so it is uh, root 5 is equal to a by b where a comma b are co primes. So I am squaring on both the sides. If you we'll square on both the sides, uh, root 5 whole square is equal to a by b whole square, which is uh, 5 is equal to a square by b square. Next b square is equal to a square by 5. It is equation 1. We need to remember that um, p be a prime number. If p divides a square, then p also divides a, this theorem. So with the help of this theorem, we can say that uh, 5 is a prime number. If 5 divides a square, then 5 also divides a. Continuation. Uh, I am assuming that uh, let a is equal to 5c. So why I am taking here 5c? The given question is root 5. That's why I am considering a is equal to 5c. Substitute a value in equation 1. That is b square is equal to 5c whole square by 5. b square is equal to 25c square by 5 you will get. If you can simplify, you will get a 5, b square is equal to 5c square. That means c square is equal to b square by 5. five uh, same theorem we can apply here. 5 is a prime number. 5 divides b square. Then 5 also divides b here. 5 divides both a and b. 5 is the common factor of a and b. That means a, is, uh, a and b are not co-primes because we are taking that in the question a and b are co-primes. 
it contradicts to the fact that means whatever we have taken it is wrong so our assumption is wrong root 5 is not a rational number if a number is not a rational number then it is an irrational number therefore we can say that if a root 5 is not a rational number it is an irrational number like this we will prove root 5 is an irrational number now three screenshots i have uploaded here for complete answer you can take all the three pages screenshots here uh, 7 plus 5 root 2 is equal to a by b similar to these questions i explained you before once again i'm explaining you all these four first four questions later i'll give the, the oral explanation see here if you have the so combination of rational and irrational take the irrational one side and transpose the rational number to other side that is uh, 5 root 2 is equal to a by b plus root uh, plus 7 we have here if you transpose to right side it will become minus 7 5 root 2 is equal to LCM I'm taking uh, so here there is no number we can take it as 1 b and 1 uh, LCM is b so a minus 4b so here we have 5 as product of uh, root 2 so if you are transposing to right side you will get root 2 is equal to a minus 7b here 5b is multiplying here if you transpose to right side divides that is 5 uh, you will get in the denominator 5b so first we need to write irrational number in terms of rational number if the question is for two marks you can say directly here a minus 7b 5b are integers next uh, here we can say that all these are integers a minus 7b 5b are integers so it is in the form of p by q root 2 is in the form of p by q uh, root 2 is a rational number why it is rational number if you are if you are writing any number in the form of p by q we can say it is a rational number so if it is two marks question you can say like this after that it contradicts to the fact root 2 is an irrational number but if you are asking for three marks you need to prove how it is uh, uh, root 2 is an irrational number already you proved before uh, in video i explained um, which i have written on my paper and I explained you clearly so now you can say that root 2 is an irrational number but we know that uh, root 2 is an irrational number so if root 2 is an irrational number then we can say 7 plus 5 root 2 is also an irrational number like this i'll not, um, i'll give you explanation oral explanation for the next two questions after that you can go for remaining questions which are related to lcm and hcf next the third explanation third question explanation i'll give you the brief introduction uh, brief uh, explanation for this direct i'm writing 2 minus root, uh, root 3 is equal to see here 5 this is a board question here we have the fraction 5 is in the denominator if you transpose to rhs it will go to the numerator that is 5a into b, uh, 5a 5 into a 5a by b minus root 3 is equal to 5a by b minus 2 here we have plus 2 if you transpose to right side it will be minus 2 minus root 3 is equal to 5a minus 2b by b and root uh, 3 is equal to i'm multiplying with the uh, minus on both sides you will get 2b minus 5a by b so here minus we have here when you are multiplying minus uh, with plus it will become minus and minus term will become plus so 2b minus 5 uh, 2b minus 5a by b so here root 3 is in the form of integers you can uh, you know already how to write the conclusion like this you can prove the combination of rational and irrational and combination of rational uh, two irrationals this is little different from the previous question because here for this question we need to square on both the sides that is the only difference between the previous question and this question for this i'm taking 2 root 5 is equal to directly i'm writing after trans if you transpose to right side you will get uh, a by b minus root 3 so simplify it take the lcm b a minus root 3 into b so root 5 we can write it as a minus root 3 b by 2 into b 2 b so generally uh, this is the common procedure till, um, for the same like before but uh, in a previous question we will write that uh, here a um, root 3 b 2 b are integers but here root 3 is not integral value not integer okay so to remove that in um, irrational number to remove one of the irrational number we will, we are squaring on both sides just this is the uh, new on uh, difference between the sum of rational and irrational and two irrational numbers uh, see now squaring on both sides what will happen if you square on both the sides 
रूट फाइव होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए माइनस रूट थ्री बी होल स्क्वायर बाय टू बी स्क्वायर इन ऑफ स्क्वायरिंग होल आई एम स्क्वायरिंग सेपरेटली नाउ रूट फाइव होल स्क्वायर इट इज फाइव डायरेक्टली आई एम राइटिंग ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट वन इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर दैट इज रूट थ्री होल स्क्वायर विच इज नथिंग बट थ्री बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी टू इंटू ए इंटू रूट थ्री ए बी डायरेक्टली आई एम राइटिंग टू रूट थ्री ए बी बिकॉज इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑल्सो डिड नॉट गिव यू कंप्लीट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दिस दैट्स वाई आई एम गिविंग नाउ बाय इज डिवाइडेड बाय टू स्क्वायर इज फोर बी स्क्वायर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई फाइव फोर सा ट्वेंटी बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री बी स्क्वायर माइनस टू रूट थ्री ए बी सो ट्रांसफोज इट टू रूट थ्री ए बी इज इक्वल टू Here minus two root three ab we have if we transpose to right left side you will get plus two root three ab a square minus c here three b square minus twenty b square it is minus seventeen b square now root three is equal to a square minus seventeen b square by here two ab is multiplying uh, you can say that uh, if it uh, if we transpose to right side it will divide it will go to the denominator. So root three is equal to a square minus seventeen b square by two ab. Now you can write it a here a b a square and b square are the integers. So root three is in the form of uh, p by q. We can say that root three is a rational number, but it contradicts to the fact because root three is an irrational number that we know already. So if root three is an irrational number, then we can prove that root three plus two root uh, five is also an irrational number. Like this, we will prove the given numbers are. irrational numbers next four questions are related to uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic and lcm and hcf questions watch this video to get the explanation of 5 6 7 8 and next fifth question uh, fifth question is state the uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic uh, and also find the factorization of 168 uh, fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number can be written as product of prime numbers so And the prime factorization is unique. This already you have in the textbook, and also I'll like explain in the first video. You can watch that and write it. Uh, factorization of one sixty eight as product of the uh, uh, prime numbers two into two into like that. Okay. Next uh, next question is sixth one. Find the smallest number which is divisible by all these three numbers. That is uh, three not uh, these two numbers three not six and six fifty seven. Already I told you that whenever you want to find the Uh, smallest number of the given two numbers we need to find lcm find the lcm of these two numbers you will get answer as 22338 next uh, this is the word problem related to lcm and hcf you need to check that how to find the lcm of the uh, three numbers see the question is seventh one three bells toll at intervals uh, 9 12 15 um, respectively 15 minutes respectively If they just start tolling, um, when they will toll together uh, later. So here your question is given in minutes. I'm go now. I'm writing answer in minutes. So that the uh, one bell is uh, toll at nine minutes. After nine minutes, next twelve minutes. Third one is fifteen minutes. So after some time, means second time when all uh, three bells to, uh, toll together. That means we need to find the LCM of all these three numbers. The LCM of nine minutes, twelve minutes, and fifteen minutes is one eighty minutes. So after Three hours. The one eighty minutes is nothing but three hours. The next eighth question is: There are three uh, three different uh, traffic signals. Uh, they will glow a light. Uh, lights will glow at after forty eight minutes, seventy two minutes, and forty uh, eight seconds, seventy uh, two seconds, and one hundred eight seconds. If um, first time all three uh, traffic lights um, glow at seven uh, a.m. Uh, after how many minutes are after what time all three lights? Um, Yeah, give a glow at the same time. That is nothing but first we need to find same like before. We need to find the LCM of forty eight, seventy two, and one hundred eight. The LCM of these three numbers is four uh, thirty two seconds. So first uh, convert the seconds into minutes. One uh, minute is equal to sixty seconds. We know already. So four thirty two seconds are nothing but seven minutes plus twelve seconds because seven uh, six is uh, forty two. Four twenty seconds plus twelve seconds. So seven minutes. 12 seconds after 7 7 means 7 o'clock 7 minutes 12 second all three lights will give the signal like this you can complete the up to eighth question as this uh, video is becoming lengthy i am giving oral explanation for ninth onwards uh, all the answers 
so first ninth question uh, an army contingent of uh, 612 members is to march behind the army band of 48 members in a parade there are two groups uh, are march in the same number of columns what is the maximum number of uh, columns uh, in which they can march here uh, in question it is asking that um, find the maximum number of columns you can find the hcf of two numbers that is hcf of 612 and 48 so find first hcf of the two numbers you will get 12 is the answer answer is 12 for ninth question next 10th question find the ratio of hcf and uh, to lcm of the least composite number and least prime number first you can take it least composite number as 4 least prime number is 2 so hcf is uh, 2 and lcm is uh, 4 so you can say the answer as 2 is to 4 that is 1 is to 2 now answer for the 10th question is 1 is to Next 11th question, if two positive numbers A and B, A is given as uh, x cube y power 5 and B is given as x square y cube of x and y are prime numbers, we need to find LCM and HCF of these two numbers. See, when you want to find the LCM of the two numbers, the highest exponent value you have to consider for LCM of A and B. Now, the LCM of uh, A and B is x cube y power 5, that A value only because uh, x cube is the highest in uh, among the two ex uh, exponents and y exponent x power 5 next hcf is same number that is a b value that is uh, x square y cube now for lcm we'll take the highest exponent for hcf we'll take the least exponent that is the common factor in among the given two numbers now lcm is x power 3 y power 5 that is a hcf is uh, x square y cube b value because the b is the factor of a and a is the multiple of b here next 12th answer the hcf of two numbers uh, 65 and 104 is 13 lcm is uh, 65 and 104 is 40 x uh, then find the value of x now here you can use lcm into hcf is equal to product of two numbers you will get the answer so 65 into 104 is equal to hcf into lcm that is uh, 40 x into 13 you will get uh, the value of x next 15th question find the hcf of this 65 and 117 uh, that is that you can equate to 65 n minus 117 uh, then by transposing the values you can get the value of n next 14th question two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their lcm is 180 so let us assume that here two numbers are uh, 2x and 3x now lcm is a is equal to uh, 180 and hcf here there is no common factor among 2x and 3x take it, uh, take x uh, x as the hcf here also you can use lcm into hcf is equal to product of two numbers that means 180 into x is equal to 2x into 3x uh, with the help of the um, this equation you can find the value of x now x is the hcf of the two numbers uh, so like this you can uh, get the explanation for 9 to 14th question next time explaining the 15th to 18th questions next 15th question uh, this question is a little different from the textbook questions in textbook questions we have only finding hcf or only finding lcm but if you see this question the set of uh, math physics chemistry have to be stacked in uh, such a way that the books are in the stored in the library topic wise the number of mathematics phys uh, books physics books and chemistry books are 14 18 and 22 Determine the number of stacks of each books provided um, the uh, each book is uh, with the same thickness. Also find the minimum number of stacks in a library. See if you want to find the answer for this question. First we need to find the L HCF of the three numbers. Because maximum number you have to take that is HCF. The HCF of 14, 18 and 22 you should find. The common factor among all of these three numbers um, is uh, 2. Now, number of stacks for math book is equal to 14 by 2 is equal to 7. Now, number of uh, math stacks are 7. Number of stacks for physics books, 18 by 2 is equal to 9. Now, number of uh, physics stacks are 9. Number of chemistry stacks are 22 by 2 is 11. Now, the answer is minimum number of stacks for in a library of each subject is math 7, physics 9 and chemistry 11. Next, 16th question, we need to prove the given number is a composite number. Already I explained this uh, in the previous video. Uh, 16th and 17th questions I explained you in the first video. Once go through complete for complete procedure. 
uh, first video and also some shots are uploaded um, for the 16th and 17th question. 16th question we should prove that uh, the given numbers has more than two factors so that we can say it is a composite number. 17th one to, uh, we need to prove that 12 power n cannot end with a 0 because uh, when you are taking 12 power n we can write in the factors of 2 and 3. If a number has uh, factors only 2 and 5 it ends with 0 other than 2 and 5 any other number it, it is not end with a 0 like that you can prove it. Next last question 18th one. The HCF of A and B is P power M and Q power N. LCM is given as P power R and Q power S of A and B. So first you can find LCM and HCF. Equate the exponential values. Then find the values of M plus N and R plus S. Here uh, L, um, HCF is uh, P square Q cube. Because P square is the smallest number and Q cube. And uh, LCM is P cube Q power 4. So... Uh, here m plus n m plus n is 2 plus um, 3 it's a 5 and 3 plus 4 is the r plus s value 7 5 plus uh, 5 into 7 5 7 the 35 is the answer so already i explained all the uh, 18 uh, 18 questions explanation if you know once all these questions you can do it by uh, your own all the answers and cross check your answers with the key thanks for watching subscribe this channel for more updates on grade 10th videos. Thank you.